Hello, ladies and gentlemen, crypto deep divers. Welcome back to Weekly Crypto. So today I'm going to touch on Tezos. Uh, looks like the DMV in California, they are going to put the vehicle titles on the Tezos blockchain. So before we get into that, make sure you subscribe to my channel so don't miss out the upcoming videos that could, that could be time sensitive or could be important. Also, you can follow me on Bitchute. Like Bitchute, I usually post uh, this type of video. I can't even talk about it in YouTube if you're interested. Uh, you can subscribe to my Bitchute channel and check out those stuff. Um, this At this time of the age, it's very important to um, go over there and check things out because things are not that simple as, as you think. Also, uh, I'm on Odyssey and Twitter, and uh, of course I'm on Get as well, fun stuff uh, I usually put on uh, Rumble, I also have a Patreon group, if you're interested you can check them out as well. Uh, let's talk about Tezos. Uh, so Tezos, <clears throat> you know uh, from the last uh, bull market cycle, Tezos did not get pumped, if you still remember. There's nothing happened in Tezos, you have, you have Polkadot, it pumps like crazy, you have um, uh, whole bunch of other projects I can't remember there's a lot of project uh, pumped in the last cycle um, but Tezo uh, hasn't pumped uh, from the last cycle by the way so the DMV <coughs> is going to do a new pilot project uh, to put those uh, vehicle titles or ownership on the uh, Tezos blockchain ecosystem and so this is from the um, so they're going to Part, uh, pair up with software, crypto software firm Oxhead Arthur to, to achieve the vision and they will utilize a specific, of smart, specific set of smart contract on the Tezos blockchain but not visible on the permissionless uh, publicly available Tezos change to build out the project and uh, he talked about that will uh, avoid repeated verification step for the customer and stay in public service entity result in reduced workload and economic benefits and audibility and then I think uh, it is bump, uh, at, at the time on 2020 it was like 70 cents right now it's only a dollar something and of course California they have some types of crypto uh, roadmap as well and you have 30 million registered vehicles throughout the state that's a lot and then I'm uh, this is a true test whether the cap capability and capacity of the Tezo smart contract the blockchain uh, the ecosystem can they handle it right and then they're talking about the size and the scale of this project, the state's uh, rep reputation for moving at a snail pace. Uh, things like that, it will probably take slow. And another thing, uh, let's see, he talked about you know, Gavin Nielsen says, sign executive order about the blockchain asset to address the regulation innovation. Basically, uh, you have to title all these things. Um, you put the, you tokenize those title on the blockchain, basically. <clears throat> like property, you t uh, different type of stuff like uh, you can also do like of course uh, info with finance and banking right you basically your own bank and also besides the car title uh, the automobile title also they do a similar pilot project for the uh, state department of food and agriculture and then this is uh, basically to uh, track the food bond contamination stuff like that and um, and then surrounding and then also uh, they have some I mean, get the data for the growers and transporter on chain. I think it's very similar to VeChain. VeChain also have something like that too, right? But anyway, uh, let me know what you think about Tezos. Uh, Tezos, um, I think last cycle, Tezos hasn't pumped at all. But uh, hopefully this cycle, the uh, Tezos will get pumped. But anyway, uh, comment below what do you think about Tezos project. I would love to hear from you. If you found this video helpful, smash the like button. Subscribe to my channel. Also share with your friends. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out the upcoming videos that could be time sensitive or could be important. Also, you can follow me on Twitter, Getter. And of course, you can follow me on Bitchute to watch out those videos that I can't even talk about in YouTube. Um, and some video I already po post more than a year ago. So go back and check uh, go and check that those videos out. And also I'm on Getter, Twitter. Oh, Twitter. Uh, if you see this Twitter, tweet, this is pretty interesting. Hopefully you guys see this. Uh, this is, I think the other video, I think from, from the original website, they have like almost 20 million views anyway. And also you can follow me on uh, Rumble. I also have a Patreon group. If you're interested, you can check them out as well. 
And remember, crypto deep divers, we the people take control of our destiny and our wealth. Stay wise, stay safe, peace. I'm not your financial advisor. Investing in cryptocurrency, commodity, and stock market can have inherent risk. This is your due diligence. This video is only for entertainment purposes, not a financial advice. You should consult with your financial planner. And as I said, it's for entertainment purposes. Um, I cannot, uh, I, I can't, I cannot determine the accuracy of this video. And you are responsible for your money.